so now coming to our next section that is anesthesia delivery systems and in this we'll straight away start with the cylinders cylinders are made up of molybdenum steel and why they are made up of molybdenum steel because molybdenum steel can withstand very high pressures and pressures you know cylinder is very high so to bear that pressure we need a strong metal and that is molybdenum steel the second type of cylinders that you see is aluminum cylinders and aluminum cylinders are only being used for mri suits because mri you know is a magnetic field you cannot use steel so we have to use aluminum cylinders and in fact not only annual cylinders the machine that we are using in mri suit is also made up of aluminum but that is very expensive now regarding cylinder the two most important thing that you have to know one is the color and second is the pressure and color is not only important from your questions point of view color is also very very important from clinical point of view because color is the only criteria to identify a cylinder and those who have done internships would have seen that the only method to identify a cylinder is its by color so color is also very very important from clinical point of view and majority of you who have done internships would have definitely used oxygen cylinder and would have seen that the color of oxygen cylinder is black body with white shoulders white shoulders or white top you can say so just to have a visual impression so this is oxygen cylinder you can clearly see black body with white top so black body with white top second thing i told you about cylinders that you have to remember is the pressure regarding pressure in your books you will see that so many units has been used pascal kilo pascal m bar tor mmhg because different countries are using different units but definitely you need not remember about other countries you have to only remember about india and in india the two units which we are using are kilogram per centimeter square and pounds per square inch or you can say psi so you can remember in one unit and if you required you can always convert it so 1 kg per centimeter square is equivalent to around 14 psi 14 psi so in a full oxygen cylinder the pressure is 2000 psi so more commonly we are using actually psi so by chance in question if they ask about kilogram per centimeter square then you can always convert it so in a full oxygen cylinder the pressure is 2000 psi which if you convert in kilogram per centimeter square will come to be somewhere around 140 kilogram per centimeter square now regarding cylinders you will see different sizes also the smallest is double a that is smallest and this is a part of resuscitation bag many of you would have seen also in a bag is such a small size cylinder is there so that is double a and the largest one is h which is very big very large almost of the human size and the common cylinder that you will see been attached to anesthesia machine that is type e type e just one thing about type e which you can remember is the capacity so capacity of type e cylinder is 660 liters so this type e cylinder carries around 650 liters of oxygen now usually oxygen is stored in gaseous form but liquid oxygen is also available and the advantage of liquid oxygen is that 1 ml of liquid oxygen can release as much as 840 ml of the gas so obviously it will be useful for remote locations like wars or disasters where it is not possible to carry